Well, it has finally happened. I finally got something that I have been wanting for years and it's time to share it with all of you. Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here, and I am super excited to share with you today something that I have picked up that I have been wanting for years now, and it finally came down to it was the right price, the right time, and there was a really cool bundle, and that thing is a drone. Uh, I have always wanted to pick one of these up, but they have either been way too expensive uh, or, you know, you would have to buy the drone and then you would have to buy all the things to go with it. Everything would be separate. Well, thanks to the folks over at DJI, uh, you don't really have to do that anymore. Is this their most high-end model? No. Uh, is it their lowest-end model? No. Is it a really killer bundle that comes with a lot of stuff to make it much more worth it price-wise? Uh, yes. Now, before we get into the details about this and everything that comes inside of it, if you are new to the channel or you just haven't yet, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell. That way you're going to alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now, if you've ever looked around for any kind of camera gimbals or drones or anything, you have likely come across the name DJI. Now, they have stuff ranging from, you know, small products you can just grab off the shelf. They have like little kind of knickknack versions of quadcopters and stuff like that, ranging up to several thousand dollar uh, devices that can do just crazy things. This one is kind of somewhere in the middle. This is the DJ Mavic Mini 2. And what's particularly cool about this specific bundle is that you not only get a drone that is very compact and small in size, it comes with a carrying case, it comes with extra batteries, uh, the controller, it comes with extra uh, blades for the propeller, and it comes with a way to charge all of those extra batteries all at once. So before we dive into actually unboxing this, a uh, little bit of quick stats about this particular drone. It is ultralight and foldable. It's less than 249 grams. It has a 31 minute max flight time. Uh, it has a 10 kilometer OcuSync 2.0 HD video transmission. Uh, that's a lot of words for saying it's got a 10 kilometer range. Uh, it has 8.5 to 10.5 meters a second level 5 wind resistance. So, you know, it can handle some wind and still be stable. It's got a 3-axis gimbal on it. It can do 4K video, it can do panorama quick shots, and one-tap videos. And it does all of that while being able to fit in the palm of your hand. Well, the palm of my hand because my hand is huge. Now, this has a lot of features that you would expect out of a drone that isn't something, you know, crazy, thousands of dollars expensive, uh, but it is missing some key features that something like the Mini 3 has in it, which are things like tracking features and stuff like that. Now, for me, I didn't really care about that. I don't plan on having the drone follow me around while I do stuff. I plan on controlling it to get shots, stuff like that. Uh, so that wasn't a big deal to me. Plus, the Mavic Mini 3, uh, it was like triple the price. And that's okay. I didn't need to get that. And for the features that that had compared to this one, it just wasn't worth it for me. But enough chit-chatting about this. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what comes in the box for the DJI Mavic Mini 2 Fly More Combo. So as you can see right here, the box, there is nothing crazy about it. It shows the drone and its controller on the side. You got the logo on the back. It shows some of the stuff that comes in. This was actually more than that. And then on the other side, you just have some random information, including like legalese on the bottom. So let's go ahead and open this up. We pull that lid, open it up, and we are greeted with the case. Let's pull that case out and look, an empty box. All right, so right here we have a rather nice feeling case and it looks as if it will be waterproof. Let's see, is there anything inside of this little front pouch? Nope, there is nothing in this pouch. Um, it feels very high quality, so that's nice. Uh, let's see here, let's go ahead and open this up and we've got all kinds of goodies in here. Uh, so it looks like right here we have the drone itself. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, what is this? Oh. That is the controller. And hey, look at that. We have a, a, a silica pack. Okay, we'll set that to the side. And then we have some accessories. And that is everything that comes inside of the little bag. Oh wait, we got another zipper pouch here. And oh, that has a bunch more accessories in it. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a look at all of these now. Let's start with this, why not? This right here 
is probably just documentation. Uh, yep, documentation. Here is how to turn on drone. And this is an accessories pack. In here, what do we have? We have a type A power brick. Then right here, what are these? These are little type C adapter cables of some kind. I don't know what these are gonna be for, but they give two of them. Um, what else do we got in here? We have whatever this thing is, let's see. So inside of this, oh, okay. So this is the actual like little charging case. And let's see, how hard is it to get a battery out? Oh, you just pull the battery out. Well, that's easy, okay. Just slide them right back in, good to go. On the side here, we got a power button, uh, we have a Type-C in, and we have a Type-A out. So it looks like you could uh, do something charge off of there while charging in simultaneously. We have something else down in here. Uh, it is a Type-A to Type-C cable. Presumably that is going to be the actual charging cable right there. And do we have anything else in here? It doesn't look like it. So. Again, that is a couple of batteries right there. Presumably the third battery is probably on the drone already, maybe, I don't know, we'll find out. Um, but okay, so this is, yeah, a two-way charging hub. All right, so this is a set of wings or, or prop blades. So we have A, B, and then we have uh, A and B. And I'm guessing, hey, look at that, we have A and B. Are these different sizes or anything? Nope, so they just give you three sets of extra blades. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? This is a little screwdriver, a little Phillips head. And these are something. I don't know what these are. Uh, they have little screw tips on. Oh, these are, oh, these are the joysticks for the controller. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and pop those out really quick. I'll show you those. So these are the joysticks for the controller right there. Nice, got nice little grip on there. So I guess let's open the uh, controller next. So we'll open this up, take that out. And that's got, it's got a nice little heft to it right on. Let's see here. I have never had a drone before, so I don't know what any of these things do, any of these buttons or anything. But let's go ahead and screw in these right here. So it's kind of nice to know that, you know, take those out uh, when putting the controller back away. And yeah, those have a nice feel to them. Looks like we have some sort of like camera flip button here. We have some different settings here. I will have to see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, and they actually have, so those are just replacements. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have unboxed them. All right, we have more of the joysticks right there. Okay, and then what else do we have here? This looks like it should pop out. Oh, cause it does. Oh, okay, so this is the actual phone holder, presumably. It has a cable down in here. And this cable, I'm guessing, yeah, so it connects to the controller down in here, and then the other end will connect to your phone. Oh, and then that's what this is. So we're gonna go ahead, toss the phone right here. Let's see, will it work in a case? Uh, looks like it, awesome. Yeah, that's just what this cable is. I'm not sure why they give additional ones. Do they do something different? Let's see. Uh, so this one is, oh, okay, yeah. So there's type C to type C. Uh, this one is Type-C to micro USB, and this one is Type-C to lightning connector. So that way you can connect whatever your device is and be able to use it. So obviously I have an iPhone right now, so that means I will be using the lightning connector until they get smart and go to Type-C. So then that can go back down in there. And presumably there's some sort of little speaker on the back. Then you have Type-C right there for doing your charging. Uh, and yeah. Very uh, straightforward looking controller. Got some sort of dial here that does something, recording, photos. All right, we'll go ahead and set that down now. And let's take a look at the drone itself. So, what is all of this? What does this say? It says, please use propeller holder to protect the propellers when, when storing. Wow, can't read right now. Okay, I'm just gonna peel that off and never look at it again. Uh, so this is apparently propeller storage. So we can go ahead and take that off. And that stored the propellers in there. Okay. Charge to activate the battery before first time use. So we'll definitely have to make sure we get that charged before we actually fire up the drone and get uh, some test shots with this. And it looks like you just kind of peel this off to get access to the battery. Let's see here. They have lots of little peelies on here. 
There we go. And then this lifts up. Oh, and there is our third battery right there. So what I will probably do is just get this whole thing plugged in and charge up all three of the batteries simultaneously. I went ahead and picked up uh, a additional micro SD and this one is the SanDisk and it recommended if you're going 128 gig to use the Extreme Plus V30A2. So that's what I did. Uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, pop that in there right now. And let's see, what way does it go? It goes that way. Okay, now on the bottom here, I don't know what any of this stuff is yet, but presumably I will learn about it. Let's go ahead and take this little sticker off of here. And apparently the lens cap as well. Wow, they have little things all over this. So nice little lens cap. There you go. Look at that. It is a drone. Very compact. Even though it's very light, it feels well made. And as soon as you put a battery back in it, it feels uh, pretty substantial, which is nice. Um, but okay, so then to fold it back up, you just do this and this, and then you slap those back in there. You throw on your lens cover. All right, so when you got these propellers all flopping around like that, you go ahead and put this back right here, slaps over that, and then it goes over the propellers on that side and just kind of clips into place, it looks like. Yep, got a little button press right there. And now that is ready for transport again. Your blades won't get all messed up. So that's a nice little touch. I like that. Um, this little screwdriver that it came with, it looks like that is just for if you are replacing the blades and stuff like that. So nice little uh, touch that they added in there. That way you don't have to go buy your own tools or anything to be able to work on your drone. So you got that right there. And there's just little screws to be able to take those off right there. And awesome. So. I am going to get this charged up and then I'm going to go grab some drone footage and tell you all what I think about this drone and if it feels like after getting it, if it's truly worth the money or not. All right, so it has been about a week now and I have been getting better at using this thing and uh, taking some shots and stuff with it and going to a few different spots throughout the week. Uh, that way I could, you know, take shots of some different locales and kind of fly it in different areas and things. Um, I will say I still don't think I'm very good at flying this. Um, I have definitely learned the controls more, but I think just with time, I'll get better at it, be able to do uh, some cooler kinds of shots and stuff like that. Um, but overall, I would say the learning curve actually isn't that high on this. The controls are pretty easy. It's just, it takes time and you just gotta practice at it a bit. Now, all of the footage that I took was actually just in 1080, 30 frames a second, nothing crazy with it, um, but I did play around with the 4K and running that at 30 as well, and I gotta say, this thing is super impressive. Um, and I even started doing uh, more out of the cinematic mode. I checked out normal, I checked out sport mode, that way it's actually moving a bit faster. Um, but it's this thing is so stable and it is so precise and I was just, I was thoroughly impressed. Now, uh, like at the beginning of the video, I mentioned, you know, I've never had a drone before. So this is my first 
experience with having my own drone. I have flown a couple of drones before. Uh, my brother, he's had drones before. And I, I've kind of messed with those a little bit, but I've never had one where I could really like dive in and check it out. And I gotta say, I am super impressed with this. Uh, it's very easy to use and uh, I will say I did crash it into a couple of things. Um, so it's definitely got some little uh, bumps and bruises on it now, but none of the props have actually broken on it. So that's cool. Um, I still have all the extras that came with this uh, fly more bundle. Um, and every time it crashes, it just immediately is able to start back up again. I just kind of give it a level spot and off it goes. Uh, so that is very cool. It's very durable despite it's super lightweight. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall my thoughts are I'm extremely impressed with this. I can't wait to continue to use this and incorporate it into various videos, especially like con videos and stuff like that. Um, and anytime if I'm going out and doing like pickup or hunting videos, uh, this is going to be cool to add kind of that extra B-roll and make, uh, you know, the shots and videos just a little bit more immersive. So the big question, would I recommend the DJI Mavic Mini 2 Fly More Bundle? Uh, yeah, if you are interested in getting one, this feels like a really solid starter drone to get. It's definitely not the cheapest one you can get. It's definitely not the most expensive one you can get. Um, but I think it is a really good value, everything that comes with it. Uh, and it's really easy to just get up and running. Um, I will say that I did already find uh, another app. I think it's called uh, Leechy or something like that. Um, and it's a paid app, uh, but it wasn't that much. And that actually gives you a lot of the features that this drone doesn't automatically come with, like the tracking and the following and stuff like that. So for just, uh, I think it was 25 bucks. Uh, now you have all the extra features that the drone that is almost three times the cost has. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So bottom line, I think this thing is awesome. I think it's a very reasonable price for everything that comes in the bundle with it. Um, and I am looking forward to having a lot more fun with this and being able to, I mean, one, just fly it, cause it's fun to just fly it and be able to see things from different angles and see things super high up. Um, but also so that I can grab more interesting footage for future videos because I, uh, you know, kind of stretch those creative wings a little bit. Now, this was not a sponsored video of any kind. Uh, DJI had no idea that I was making this video or anything like that. Um, but I mean, if you wanna be able to pick up this bundle, uh, they have it available at places uh, like Best Buy and stuff like that. That's where I picked mine up. Um, if uh, they have it on Amazon, I'll share an affiliate link. If you wanna be able to uh, click on that link, it helps out the channel and you'd be able to get the combo as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm very impressed with this and I can't wait to keep using it. Now, if you all liked today's video, please let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell. That way you can alert every time I've got a new video coming out. Also, if you like what I do here and you're interested in helping to support the channel each and every month, then please consider becoming a channel member or head on over to patreon.com slash gamedadshow where for as little as $1 a month, you get early ad-free access to all of my videos, including getting your name in the end credits of every single one of my videos like the fine folks that you see above right now. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.